Welcome to my channel, Planner with Maserati. I am going to be doing a reset up video of my classic happy planner. Only because now I'm getting months that are getting appointments and I want to put them in one planner. I have like one, two, three, four, six planners next to me that are either notebooks. Um, okay, let me show you. This one here. This is March and April, or is it just March? March and April. This one here is, look at this cover. I need to throw that away. Uh, July through December, which I want to kind of keep everything in one planner now, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. This one here is January through December 2022, and I'm using this and redating it. This one here is a notebook. This one here is um, May and June. So I had it all together and then I changed it for this one and then I changed it for this one. Which I prefer metal disc but I don't have the metal in the bigger size. And this one here is just my faith which I have to work on today. So that's going to go on top. Yeah, so let's get started before I get this intro even longer. Welcome. Please subscribe. I'm going to put these to the side. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment and share the video. That would be great. I appreciate it. So I'm leaving two next to me. And then we'll decide. The notebook, I don't know if I'll separate because it's just a notebook. And... This one is the extra pages, so I probably will just take the ones that I'm going to be using currently, and not like the whole year. Okay, because then the disc will be even longer, I mean bigger. And as you can see, this is peeking through. Okay, put this to a side next to me as well, and let's begin. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the cover off. I did this page, I'm not yet journaling yet on here I want to wait a little bit and then when spring really hits and then this is my spring page that I did so I'm gonna take both covers off at the same time I even put like paper like this in here I'm not taking anything out of the pages I'm gonna leave just the way it is I'm just taking what I need out Okay, so the way it's set up is like yellow, let me make sure this is, so yellow to pink, so what I'm doing is yellow to yellow, and then pink in the middle, as you can see, two blue ones as well, so put them together, just like this, I put wrong sides together so I can actually see it, that the design doesn't distract me, okay. So if you're looking to do something like this, lay out your discs the way I did, and then you will actually see how it looks as you're doing it. So you know the two blues are the next one, pink is the middle, and then the blue. So it looks like that. So it matches this. Not only that. It matches uh, the actual cover itself. I would have loved a black one for the middle because then it would really, you know, stand out. But this is fine the way it is. I have a basket in front of me where I can't move my leg. Let's put this on the side of me then. Okay. So there's that. As we open it up, it looks just like that. And you know you did it right when you can see the covers, you got the words correctly. So, yes, I'm going to leave this as my first page. I think this is adorable. So that will be my first page. I'm not going to do flip-throughs of what's inside the, like the pages of the planner. But I'm just going to do, like, um, I should have put a cover in the bottom. Let me put this planner on the bottom. The pages for the notebook paper tends to slide out. 
Okay, there we go. See, it's like trying to come out. It's off the discs. Okay. Here we go. How cute is that? Take a picture of that. Okay. So here's merch. So I'm going to have to show you a few pages only because I didn't even use my sidebar yet. Which I will be doing today. My grandson went home today, so I'll be able to film today because I haven't filmed for since Saturday. So the videos you see me uploading are videos I already pre-made. So when I have my grandson, I can spend time with him. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rest of March. I haven't really filled in this section yet, which I will be doing today. But that's for April, so I still have some time. This is the next planner, which is my faith planner. It will be working in this one today as well. Okay, now they're ready. These pages fit. What's going on? Okay, so the majority of the stuff that I want is March and April to be the way it is. So March, March, April, April, like that. Okay, so then this is going to go in here. I haven't been doing my um, resurrection uh, scripture reading. What day am I on? I'm on day 8. We're technically on day 12, so I have four days to catch up with. And again, a lot of things go on, and it's no excuse. Okay, so then the next section is just lined paper. Just when I need it. I'm not going to put a lot of paper in here because I want to kind of get as much as I can from the planners. I have appointments all the way till September, so that's what I'm trying to do. At least get till September in here. As a matter of fact, we're going to start that in the back. So we're building up the front, and now I want to build up the back. So let me go into. That's not it. That one's not it. I'm looking for the one planner that has the rest of the months. It's not this one, that's for sure. It's not this It's this one. Okay. This one. I don't know if I'll throw it away because it is set up already as... I would just have to change the discs. So from January through December. And put it back in its own planner. Or should I just toss it? Let me know your thoughts, because this whole, I don't know what they did to this cover. There's no holes, there's no puncture, but this whole cover is like literally falling apart. It's terrible. Okay, so we're going to put September in here. And if I could get all the way till December, I will. But for now, I'm just going to put up to September, because that's where my appointments are so far. Two appointments tomorrow and they're not even back to back one is in one location hours later the other one is in another location oh, it's not gonna be fun so you got September October I mean September August and then I'm gonna put July okay so that'll take care of any appointments I have to these three months. Okay, and do I want this one in here? Probably, because I could use it for the lines. And then it separates these three months anyway. So that's another quarter right there. And then this one I can just put on the side until I'm ready to fill this up. Now, let's get April in here. Oh, let me get the paper in here. This is just the Mickey Mouse paper, line paper from the Happy Plant. Basically, everything's Happy Planner except for, I think, this. I think this is Park Lane. But pretty much everything right now is Happy Planner. Okay, so see, this is how I set it up for when I have appointments. I put in the date, a sticky note, and then I'll put it on the day that it is. So this one's the 29th. Because this sticky note is bigger, I just put it on half the 27th. 
And I know I have more appointments for April. I don't even know what I was thinking. I only have two appointments on there. One is a procedure. I think it's April 9th. Yeah, so... No. April 9th is something else. There's another procedure I have. I don't know what date it's on, to be honest with you. This one is a undated planner, which says garden. Did I take two of them? Yeah. And I'll be dating this one and decorating it. And I'll show you the pages. Looks like that. I didn't do it till March. I'm going to start that in April. So see, it's not that full. And I do have July, August, and September. I'm going to bring in the rest of the months right now before I put anything else. So this stuff here is like the fake stuff. Stickers to redate. Social media. And then just paper. So we're going to hold off on this stuff for right now. Put it to the side. I am looking for the one with the two months right here. So, Mar no, I'm sorry. This is April. So here is May. Let me move this to the side. Move this up. So I'm going to put May and June. So this one has appointments as well. So this is the second quarter. Um, let me put that there because it's sliding. So April... May and June is second quarter. Uh, January through March is the first, second. Okay, so I need to put the last one. Oh, I have a lot of paper. Um, now, in here, I wrote a note to myself. I'm going to bring in right now. We still have. Oh no, I have July. Okay. So, this is where July starts. So, July, August, September. Let's see how it looks. I may just end up bringing the rest of the year because I have plenty of room, right? So, we are going to bring the rest of the year. And then I'm going to show you. I follow Heart Breathings, I think it is called. Uh, she does a lot of the notebooks and stuff and the Kanban board. So, I have an idea with a Kanban board for me. So October through December, right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take October out, because just in case, doctors are filling up quickly with appointments. And I don't want to be like left behind where ugh, I don't have it written out and then I lose my appointment. Left behind like I'm in school, right? <laughs> So here is all the months. I'm going to flip this real quick and then I'm going to come back and do the rest. Okay, I wanted to show you something really quick. So before I flip it, in between these months, um, because we're going to worry about April, March, April, and probably May. So I think I'll put it up to here. So I need April, May, and June. Because this is the three months. So this is another quarter. So that will take you one, two, three, four. Okay. So that will take you to this. So right here is going to be my Kanban board. So I just put the sticker here. It just says stop procrastinating. And it's just a, not a sticker, um, sticky note. And then I have... I don't know what that is. I put these notes here. This is going to be my Kanban board. And what I'm going to do is my inbox of everything I want to get done first. Not inbox. What I want to get done, I'm going to move it to the week that I'm going to do it. Like, okay, so I wrote all my stuff that I want on sticky notes. And then I'm going to bring it down and work on it. When it's completed, I'm going to bring it down. I think that's how she's doing it. So I think that's how I want to do it. I'm not 100% sure, so let's go ahead and flip this. I do need to get a uh, page flag for that. Or not a page flag, but like a divider. Okay. 
these days are ridiculous. Okay, so it says design a life you love. This is my spring sheet. This should be on the channel by now. That's my welcome to the page because when you do a welcome page, it's not the same as if you're doing a spring sheet. Like this is for the season. So a welcome would just take you to the, you know, welcome to my planner. This one to me just welcomes you to the season. March. Okay, I'm not going to flip it. Like I said, I'm just going to show you how I did it. Here is March again. And it'll take you to the next planner. Which is, this one should be my faith right here. So this one's my faith one, which we're going to be working on today. So that's another merch. So there's three planners for merch. So I think I did do the... Yeah, I did do that. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, I did do that. So these pages here are for the resurrection. Okay. Which I need to catch up on. And that's what... I gotta write that out. I don't know what I was writing. So that's what it looks like. And then soap study. Okay. These are just extra pages, things that I'm going to be working on, so I just put it in the middle. So word study would be here. When I'm done with these, I'm going to put it into the faith planner. So instead of having so many planners, so many papers inside here for your faith, I just put them over. April is again uh, another April. So the only thing I think I need with this April is the faith. Nope, I got it right here. April. So this is going to be the faith one. And then again, I'll have to white it out. But I haven't been using these sheets. I just keep this one and this one and then the back of this one. And I just paste it on here and then that's what it looks like. All these are actually going to come out. So we're going to go ahead and remove these. I'm not using these. I don't like being confined to the three boxes like that. So when you look at it, so when you start the month, is I write the, did I take out the right one? Yeah, because these two go together and it's the same. Okay, yeah. I was like, wait, did I do this right? So this will be glued together. This will be the back page for me. And then here's the front, but you will see the monthly. And then these pages are just in between. And when I do the plan for May, that will be your first page. Okay. And that is that note page. So actually, let me grab that while I'm in here. I don't know what is going on with the, the disc though. I'll grab an empty nice one. Take that out. And again, I'm just going to set this one up because I know... It comes around the corner quickly. So this is actually for April, if I said May. This is for April. And then this goes here. And then the line paper goes behind it. The scripture, right? You do devotional scripture, scripture whatever, because it's going to be moved to the other faith notebook. Okay. So then we have May. Progress over perfection. Now this is just the 2024 planner. So you can see I have one appointment. Um, June. I didn't write any appointments down. Sometimes you can't because of the way their system is. This is going to be my Kanban board. So starting in now, I'm going to start writing my list out and then not actually a list on here, but in the sticky notes and then put them there. And they have the quarter little sticky notes from Dollar Tree. They're about either this size or this size. Or I may just use these to finish them up. This one's like a weekly listen to sermons, read Christian books, review what you learn, apply often. Okay, so then the next thing is, this is the third quarter. So we did the first and second quarter here. You so see you have July, August, 
and like I said, I have one for September. They give you a card, so I put it, you know, I'll put it in here once I get it out of my purse. And then October. Fourth quarter is, wait, did I do this wrong? Third quarter is July, August, September. Fourth quarter is October, November, and December. And that will finish up my 2024 planners. Now, I have a lot of undated, I have a lot of undated planners and I have a lot of dated planners. So I don't know if I'll continue on in this size. I do like this size. Purse-wise, it's not effective for me because it's too heavy. But I do like this size. And I like the junior size. The mini size, I'm not a fan of. Not gonna lie. Okay, so now here, we are gonna add in... Okay, so I'm just pulling it to the side really quick. I did April, right? Or is it April just one? No, April has two, three. So I need to do May. Okay, so I'm going to do May with extra planners. So I don't need this one because this is already here. That's the main planner. That's the one that all the appointments, all of that stuff goes in. Okay, so as you can see, I have more planners. May, which is this planner, which is the Faith. Because yes, I will be doing the Faith in here as well. And then transferring it over. And then I should have another May. Sometimes it's confusing because then you're missing months. Like, where's the rest of May? Okay, so let's do June because I can't find the rest of May. So let's go ahead and do June. So this is the main planner. It's the 2024. And now we're going to do June. This one is the color block. Which I'll show you in a second. So this is the second planner that goes in. How cute. It's got to be redated. Third planner is the Faith Planner. It says Count Your Blessings. So now we have all of our planners in here. Up to June. Okay. So then that'll take care of this one. And then once these are done, put them back in. Only thing I have to add really is paper. I don't think you need to see that part. I'll probably do a part two to this to see how much I can get away with adding in here without messing up more of the pages. But yeah, look how chunky. So let me show you the two that I added. Not this one. This one here. Be a dreamer and a doer. Okay. Got a redate. Redate. Set up. So you'll see a lot of that. This is the faith part. It's the only one I could find on this May one. I gotta go look for the other part. June is the 2024 one. This is the main planner. This is gonna be like the household goal type planner. And again, color block. And a lot of redating. I do like how they did this. And then faith planner. Again, redate. Redate. The only thing is that these will not be in here. Unless I decide otherwise. So I'm going to take these out. Because it gives me more room to add regular paper. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. It's not as heavy as I thought. And so thank you. And I will talk to you in the next one. Part two will be coming up soon, and yeah, I gotta go declutter. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.